Hey everyone, I want to draw your attention to utilities. Uh, we can look at those through the lens of the XLU ETF, which we think have uh, come a bit uh, too far too fast or maybe a bit too steadily, which of course is just a function of um, interest rate expectations uh, having been set to them coming down. And so we look at the XLU ETF and if you look at the uh, right hand corner here of your screen, you can see how they have uh, uh, ramped with basically absolutely no volatility uh, to the upside uh, pretty much all year, in fact, 100% all year this year. Now, the question of course is, is it getting a bit overbought? Well, to put this into perspective, I've got a great chart on the next, uh, the next chart here, but even just from a momentum perspective, the MACD here, this uh, shows a huge divergence between the um, 200 uh, uh, between moving averages, basically. So it's overbought is, is what I'm trying to say without getting too long. What's really interesting is I came across this statistic here on Twitter, and um, this shows us that it's only happened one time before that the utilities, the XLU, uh, traded above its 200 uh, day moving average by more than 20%. And apparently that happened in the year 2000, and apparently it only lasted for one day. Question of course now is, how does this fit into the current picture? Would it make sense to be uh, taking profits in utilities, uh, you know, being underweight, or you know, maybe if, if one is really aggressive, even be short for a trade? And so if we look at this, I'm gonna go into the daily chart just to give you a little bit more perspective so we can talk about this from a trading perspective. What one setup that one could consider if this were something that one thinks is possible, that it's that uh, utilities are overbought, is that we get some sort of data uh, from the government, let's maybe this Friday's uh, payrolls, and um, it's a little bit stronger or maybe quite a bit stronger than expected. Well, in that case, the Fed can't really lower rates a heck of a lot based on that metric alone, right? Just all else being equal, which would mean that uh, uh, basically bond prices would have to adjust and go somewhat lower, which would mean that utilities would go lower. I know this is a this whole sequence here I'm going through. And so that would be bearish utilities. In that situation, could utilities drop, you know, maybe five or 6%? Yeah, of course they, they can. They already did it a couple times this year. So that would be a pretty good, interesting move and you know people say hey utilities aren't volatile well look at for example what happened in the year 2022 they first rallied about 21 percent and then after that after the double top they ended up uh, dropping about 20 percent so talk about or more so talk about utilities not being volatile they absolutely can be so you know speaking of things getting overbought and oversold this is actually our topic this week we're looking for extremities of emotions how we can find opportunities in the market where uh where stocks etfs commodities currencies on the daily charts intraday get extreme overbought or oversold and how we can take advantage from those situations if you're interested in that it's an income strategy, the way we look at it. Make sure you join us this week in our free uh, presentation, our free research call on that. You can sign up for that down below or on the next screen, and we'll see you there.